Wow. Uh, nothing like a montage of yourself to make you cry in public. <laughs> Alok, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Your friendship means the world to me. Thank you so much for coming here tonight. Glad, thank you so much for having me here, and especially Sarah K. Ellis. And yes, thank you to all of my family, my friends, my support system, my team who's here tonight, and everyone who helped me get me to where I am today. That list is way too long and way too countless, but trust me, it takes a village. You don't uh, survive what I've survived alone. Um, I wanted to say meth addiction, but I didn't know how Glad would uh, appreciate that, and I went off script, so, so sorry, I love you. Uh, if you've not noticed, <laughs> skirt hard right, that happens sometimes. <laughs> if you've not noticed, we are in the midst of an attack on LGBTQIA plus freedom. I live in Texas, uh, that is a place to live right now, and this year alone in the country, we have faced 540 anti-LGBTQ plus state bills, which is a record. No, we can boo for that. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> Uh, it, re it recently occurred to me, as I was wondering how it got this bad, that many of the kids who used to call me fag and bullied me mercilessly when I was growing up in rural Illinois are now the Marjorie Taylor Greens, Ron DeSantis's, and uh, Greg Abbott's of the world, which really scares me, you guys. I googled Marjorie Taylor Green, and she's like literally like six years older than me. I was like, oh, it really was her. Um, so living in Texas, I am not willing to sit on the sidelines and let these grown ass bullies attempt to erase our community, threaten our youth, their families, and our access to healthcare, our rights, and our right to self-expression. Luckily, I grew up with strong women who taught me to stand up for what's right. Yes. One of the ways that I do that is to frequently join my friends from Equality Texas and GLAAD in Austin at the state capitol. That state capitol has been uh, where I've been a lot recently. We are processing these harmful bills that lawmakers, which actually the House just passed last week. This, it's like a whole thing, it takes us sometimes, but I do like to live there sometimes as well. Anyway, uh, but lawmakers there are doing nothing to address healthcare, poverty, gun violence, or infrastructure, and that's what we must do, because that is the real threat to children, is their lack of access to resources, education, food, <laughs> infrastructure, healthcare. These same lawmakers claim to protect children from drag queens and banned books, but we can't allow ourselves to be the distraction that conservative media focuses everyone on. Queer people are not a threat. Poverty, lack of education, lack of health care, as I just said, don't go off script because then this is what happens. Um, white nationalism and out of control gun lobby is the real threat that we all must be focusing on today. Texas is rolling back access to gender-affirming care, medications like PrEP, which, and antiretroviral therapy, which helps to save my life. I am someone who is living with HIV. We know that when someone who is HIV positive achieves and maintains an undetectable viral load, they cannot pass the virus sexually. You equals you. Undetectable, undetectable equals untransmittable. Access to ART for those of us with HIV and robust access to PrEP can end HIV AIDS. And no one's religious uh, expression should get in the way of that. <laughs> Allowing conservatives to vilify our community and create roadblocks to healthcare will cost us time, money, and lives. I come from a family of broadcasters. Journalism, facts, and freedom of expression are as much passions of mine as figure skating, gymnastics, or fashion. I've been on a gender journey my whole life, seeking validation and approval from all the wrong people in all the wrong ways. Trust me, I have been there. I felt like I had to present in a certain mask look, can you imagine? Uh, <laughs> uh, and attitude to be an object of desire. Through years of personal work with a therapist, with friendships like I have with Alok, I am able to embrace my fluidity to stand in my truth as a non-binary trans storyteller, entertainer, <laughs> hair expert, comedian, and podcaster. I like to think of myself as a less major, HIV positive, white, non-binary J-Lo. Just really very multi-hyphenate. Um, part of my healing journey was to trade drugs and sexual compulsivity for an authentic relationship with myself. I want everyone to find their healing. I know people love and accept you more once you love and accept yourself. 
I also know that we need to proudly say we are pro-queer, pro-trans, pro-black, pro-abortion rights, pro-immigration. We are pro-human, honey. Yes! What is happening right now should be a jolting wake-up call. Your wealth, your whiteness, your six-pack abs will not protect you from what is coming for all of us. And while Grindr can be a great uh, release technique, we need to make much more time to get off Grindr, come home from P-Town, and haul yourself down to the Capitol in your states. Yes. Show support for the LGBTQI plus writers bringing queer stories to our screens. If you are in a position of privilege, do it for all of those who are not, particularly our trans and gender nonconforming youth of color. Because we are the queens of shade, the kings of the takedown, we are people of the read, but let's use that energy to cut down the enemy, not each other. Think of Stonewall and ACT UP, the elders who put their bodies on the line so that we could be here today applauding my gender queer self, honey. Yes. We need to be them now so that in 10, 20, 30 years, we are still allowed to be here to make a family, to make a world that is safe for people like us. The white nationalist Republican Party wants to take us back to 1950 when being gay was literally illegal. We cannot, take our hand, we cannot take our hard fought rights for granted. This is the time to get involved. Working with organizations on the ground of states that are being especially targeted like Equality Texas is so needed right now. So please work with Equality Texas, donate, please get involved in your communities. Thank you so much for all of you again at GLAAD for having me here tonight, for your advocacy, for your work, and for this tremendous honor. Thank you so much.